Okay, hi YouTube. It's Vessel of Christ Jesus here today, and this video is called What's Up with the Sabbath? Um, so in my study of theology in different denominations is that people love to argue over this point. Um, my opinion is that we are under grace. We are not under the law, but the Sabbath is still Saturday. No one changed it to Sunday except for the Roman Catholic Church. Just because the apostles and disciples held church meetings on Sundays, the first day of the week, does not mean that God changed the day of rest. Now listen, Christ is the resurrection. He is the rest. Uh, Christ Jesus said that he is Lord of the Sabbath. He also clashed with religious leaders of his day over this point. Um, this is what the Holy Spirit has revealed to me about the Sabbath. Is that God made all creation, is it's the sixth day creation week, and he rested on the seventh. He rested on the last day. Jesus rose again on the first day of the week, a Sunday so he is the first to the last to the last to the first. Every day should be the Sabbath. In Matthew chapter 12, verse 8, it says the Sabbath was made for man and not man for the Sabbath. Again, it's about inward worship, not outward religion. And I think that's why Jesus had to make a point when he was on this earth and talked with the religious leaders of the time about the Sabbath. Because nobody got it. Okay? Nobody got it. In Mark chapter 16, it says that Christ, very early on, on the first day of the week, they went to the tomb. Okay, he rose on a Sunday. He says, I am the Alpha and the Omega. He is the beginning. He is the end. The first to the last to the last to the first. He is, I am that I am. He is, was, and always will be. I am he that liveth, and he that was dead and behold, I am alive forevermore. So we are blessed, those who continue in his words and keep his commandments. Love God with all thine heart, mind, soul, and strength within you. And also to love our neighbors as ourselves. So if, if anything, Jesus spoke out against the harsh teachings about the Sabbath. It's not about the ordinances and the rules, you know, about observing the Sabbath. That's outward religion. Christ taught against that. It's about worshiping God in spirit and in truth on any day. It's about inward worship. The first to the last to last the first. The first day of the week when he rose to the last day of the week when he rested. They're all one. And Christ is the resurrection and the life. In him we have rest. So he is Lord of the Sabbath. He is Lord of every day of the week. I think this is a small argument that people need to stop arguing about. Yep, uh, Sabbath is Saturday, not Sunday. Nobody anywhere could ever change my mind because Christ did not switch the Sabbath. He never said he was switching the days. Okay, what he did was die on a Friday and he rose on a Sunday. He rose on the first day of the week, to the beginning, to the end, to the last, to the first, to the first, to the last. He is God every day of the week, and we should treat him as such, as our God every day of the week. This is just a short clip. Um, I've had people asking me about the Sabbath, and yes, I think the Sabbath is a special day of the week. That was the day that, that God rested. Um, do I think your church is damned for meeting on Sundays? No. Okay, Sunday sun worship, I get all that. But if you are worshiping Yahweh, Yeshua, Elohim, Adonai, if you're worshiping the true God and spirit and in truth, I don't think he cares if you do it on a Saturday or a Sunday or a Tuesday or Wednesday, as long as you're worshiping him. Inwardly, not having an outward religion as the Pharisees did, but having on the inward man. Inward connection with the Lord God in your prayer life and in everything. They who worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth, Jesus said. So I hope this clears it up. That's my opinion and what the Holy Spirit has taught me about the Sabbath. 
And it is just that. He is Lord of the Sabbath. He rose on a Sunday and he rested on the seventh day from the first to the last to the last to the first. That's exactly what I was taught by the Holy Spirit within me. That was a revelation. I didn't just come up with that on my own. I was doing some intense Bible studying, meditating on the word. And that's what God said to me. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. It was short, but it's short and to the point because people need to stop arguing about things like the Sabbath. We need to start telling people more about Christ and the stories of the Bible, his teachings of, of also Peter, Paul, John. We need to start teaching people the ways of the Lord and stop arguing over these little, little tiny things that don't matter. They really don't matter. That's why Jesus said, if one of your sheep fell into a pit, would you not go out and help it? Okay, my, my disciples were hungry. So yeah, they took a, a ear of corn off of the stock and they ate it. So what? You know, uh, we have to, I don't care what everybody else thinks about the Sabbath. We have to read about what Lord Jesus said about the Sabbath. So, and he never put any vital importance on it. He never said, like, obviously they still went to the synagogue every Saturday. That's where they held their temple. Okay. Um, that's when they held their meetings and then Christians started doing it on Sunday and Saturday. Cause I don't think they ever stopped meeting on in the synagogues. They were still trying to reach Jews and Gentiles within Christ. So, uh, yeah, that's my opinion is that, yep. The Sabbath is a Saturday. Do I think it holds any special significance? Nope. I think every day should be the Sabbath for the Lord. Cause he is the Lord of the Sabbath. And if you want to take out one day a week to fast and pray and, and have that be your holy day for God, then do it. It doesn't have to be on a Saturday. It doesn't even have to be on Sunday. It could be any day of the week or every day of the week is more like it. So uh, <clears throat> that's what the Lord's taught me. Amen. Again, I'm going to read, I am the Alpha and the Omega. The beginning and the end, the first to the last. He is, I am that I am. He is, was, and always will be. I am he that liveth and was dead, and behold, I am alive forevermore. Amen.